I'm going to submit my expenses using a killer. First thing I'm going to do is take the receipt for the expense that I want to submit and make a copy of that so I can submit it with my expenses. I'm going to use an app on my iPhone which is called Jotnot. This will enable me to take a picture of the receipt and save it ready to be submitted. First of all, I hover my phone over the receipt, line it up and take a picture. If I'm happy with that, it will process the picture for me. Uh, I can see that it's got that nice and square for me so I'll process the image and the next thing I shall do is save it. And I'm going to save that to my Dropbox as a PDF. It will give me a list of folders already on my Dropbox and I'm going to use one called Receipts. Press Save and it will now save that document for me. So that is now saved into my Dropbox, ready for me to use when I do my expenses. I could be scanning in and taking more pictures of more receipts if I need to, but that's absolutely fine for now. I'm now logging into a killer and I'm going to enter my receipts for my expenses. I go to my Documents tab, I select the Expenses document type and create a new one. I type in my name, the Smart Search box will find my details and the period that I'm doing these expenses for. And that's fine, we'll do it for this month. Once I'm happy with that, the expenses document is created for me. First thing I need to enter is the date for the expense item. In this case it's that receipt, which was the 26th of March. Select the expenses type. It's travel, so I select that from the drop down menu and you'll see that I have my net expenses window open but the VAT window is closed because we've set a killer up not to be able to claim VAT back on travel receipts. So it's a train ticket and it is for £37 and 10p. Tick that I'm happy with that line item and that's now entered. Now I click on the icon here to the left hand side which says receipts. Click onto that, choose my file, go to my Dropbox location Remember we had that folder called Receipts that we saved it into. We go to that folder, we find our image in there, and save that. That is now attached to that document, and I could now enter additional line items for additional expenses, and again keep attaching those receipts. If I just check that receipt is there, I'll click on that and view, and it will show me an image of that receipt as I scanned it in. So I'm happy now that I have finished my expenses, so I release that, and then that now is locked down, ready for the next stage of the process, which is for it to be approved or rejected. That's how easy it is to take a copy of a receipt, scan it in using a mobile phone, and attach it to my expenses that I can then submit using a killer.